My name is Rebecca Wood. I come from a family of five children in southern Indiana, and I found myself living in southeastern Ohio, the foothills of the Appalachians, for about the last 30 years. I'm a teacher by profession and a mental health worker and a community herbalist. Gosh, I mean, really, we don't have to Anyone move to do work? this class. No. Leaves and flowers for our dinner and lunch tomorrow. Ah. I teach natural resource management, permaculture, sustainable design, uh, a lot of the field biology courses, and an herbal studies course. <laughs> Think about what that stock might have been used as. Um, but the flowers are these beautiful little yellow flowers, and you pick them off, and it's the basis of my um, oil. When I do a St. John's word, I always do a mullein oil too. It's an anodyne. An anodyne topically kills pain. See the big sharp um, shark's tooth thorns. I don't think I ever learned how to identify yeah. them too. I just sure. thought I would teach or work in some medical related field. I like working with people. I mean, I like working alone as well, but it's fun to see the light bulb go off. It's fun to see the aha or the yahoo or the wow. And uh, this last weekend, these last two weekends, a lot of students were coming back and just saying, it meant so much to me. You know, it was just like, it just made me feel different. And that's pretty powerful. That's pretty exciting. Look at those glorious mm. blooms. Can we ha say ooh ah just for a minute? <laughs> ooh ah, ooh ah. I mean, look at those blooms. That's amazing. Yeah. People are just busy, busy, busy living the 30 second sound bite world. Uh, even as a teacher, I have a harder time every year communicating with my students until I get them outside, until we really settle in, until they don't have that distraction. We're a very busy culture and it shows in stress, it shows in health, it shows in wellness. Um, people are pretty fried. <laughs> I don't always stay positive, but this helps. You know, being in the woods helps. Um, but I get frustrated a lot. But um, geez, there's fun people, positive things to see, working in the garden, doing yoga. Letting go of all the busyness, the worry, bringing yourself to your mat for your yoga practice today. I like the asana practice, you know, the eight limbs of yoga. Um, the asana is just one. Pranayama, breath is another. Um, you know, meditation, again, another. Uh, doing good deeds, another. They're all important, you know, living the yamas and niyamas, the to-dos and not-to-dos of life. But I think being a physical creature, it, it helps us to get to that quiet place through action sometimes. And your body is kind of your temple. To get it to be healthy is good food, good exercise, good breath. It isn't just about hopping around or getting into funny positions. It's, it's kind of about tuning in to yourself, your internal environment, as well as your external environment. But I think the most important part of yoga is turning inside, you know, accepting who you are, becoming happy in that, and then reaching out and doing some type of service or sharing that, um, at least in my world. But I don't live up to all those goals. You know, I, I have a long way to go. I'm still pretty spoiled. But I feel probably the most comfortable in the woods or just with my backpack on. And so I'm a little more flexible or easy to blend into that uh, kind of simplistic lifestyle. But, you know, I still drive a car that only gets 28 miles to the gallon. And I still drive in and out to work every day, and I'm still one person living on 24 acres with a lot of things compared to what the majority of the people in the world have. So I have a long way to go, too. <laughs>